Hello everyone, Dr. Ames here. What I'd like to talk about this time is some of the stereotypes out there about obese workers. Here's a series of true-false questions uh, that really revolve around the, the common stereotypes. True or false, people become obese only become they, because they overeat. Well, this is false, and I will talk about the reasons. Uh, generally, though, it's about your genetics, and it's about your metabolism. Um, and it follows the same second one here is similar. True or false, anyone with sufficient willpower can lose weight. Well, that's not necessarily true either. It's false. Uh, again, your metabolism dictates that. Um, being obese is not a, a conscious choice. Um, the third one here, true or false, people become excessively overweight because of personality problems. Well, certainly a few people do um, who have eating disorders, for instance, something like that. Uh, but an eating disorder is a medical condition, not necessarily a personality problem. So I would say that it, it's mainly false. There may be a few people out there that for whatever reason can't stop eating. Um, but that might also be a medical condition rather than a personality problem. Um, and so it, it's simply not that people just eat and eat and eat uh, and they, that, that's the reason they all become excessively overweight. It's simply not true. Um, true or false, obese people have jolly personalities. Um, certainly I like to think of this one as the Santa Claus metaphor. Um, we've grown up all of us uh, during our lives and uh, Santa Claus is a big, jolly, giant fat person who is jolly uh, either because they're fat or because they're Santa Claus, it's hard to know. But it has uh, sort of through our media and so forth reinforced the idea that big heavy people ought to all be jolly and happy, uh, which is certainly not true. Um, true or false, obese employees are likely to cost employers more in health and sick leave than employees who diet to keep their weight low. Now this one is worded um, a little bit interestingly because it's, it's false. Um, obese employees are likely to cost employers more in health, uh, health leave. Okay, let's, let's just stop right there with uh, health care. Um, obese employees aren't gonna cost the employer any more than any other employee. Now, if they were severely obese, which is a particular condition, then they could have a catastrophic events uh, much more likely to, and it could cause overall healthcare costs for everyone in the group to go up a little bit. Um, on the other hand, that could be mitigated by a whole lot of people in the group who don't have any claims. So it's not conclusive that uh, just being obese is enough to cause your healthcare costs to go up. Now, the second portion of this, the and, the sick leave, than employees who diet to keep their weight low. Um, obese employees don't use any more uh, sick leave than anyone else, any other employees. And in fact, people who diet are as subject to chronic health conditions as people who are overweight in an extreme way. Uh, in fact, it's just as bad to be extremely skinny as it is to be extremely overweight. And dieting, having the highs and lows and the swings back and forth where your body goes from one weight to another are very uh, harmful in the long run, research tells us, to your organs and so forth. So dieting is not uh, all that it's uh, you know, put up to be. A lot of what we hear about dieting is marketing. And we have to remember there's a dieting industry out there worth billions per year and who want to keep you dieting. Um, true or false, being overweight has no significant effect on career success. This is absolutely false. Um, people who are obese lose thousands of dollars per year in wages. They get hired for less to start with. Their promotions, they get a, a lot of times, uh, smaller increases and so forth. Um, true or false, activists prefer to use the ADA as legal protection from obese discrimination. This is true, they do, um, but there is no wording about the obese in the ADA in particular. That's the Americans with Disabilities Act. And so the severely obese uh, could be considered to have a medical disability, but just being obese in itself would not. And so that, that would probably be one basis to use for legal protection, 
but uh, a, not a very strong one. Um, the one that follows here, true or false, obese persons are protected by law from workplace discrimination. They are not. There is no particular law with exact wording that mentions obesity as being a protected case of people. So um, they are not protected by law, although uh, that means federal law. There may be a variety of city, county, state laws out there that here and there may offer some protection, and there are a few of those. And finally here, true or false, extremely overweight people generally make poor workers. Well, this is not true. Uh, today's uh, work is much less physical than it's ever been in the past. So you would have to say that it really depends on the job. And if you're extremely overweight uh, and you sit at a computer terminal and, you, and you're basically a knowledge worker, um, there's no reason why you would be a, a poorer worker than another worker. Um, just being there for the workday could take a, uh, maybe a greater toll on you personally, but it doesn't mean that uh, you're a poor worker. Okay, folks, that's all I wanted to talk about this time. I'll talk to you again soon.